All right, everybody, how you doing? I'm Sundance Giovanni, and this is Chris Puckett. We're here for another edition of the Stride Championship Series. It's 30 weeks of intense Halo action right here at MLGPro.com, and right now we're going to go down to the floor and see which two teams are on tap for today's match. Today's matchup is between two teams who love to be the underdogs. In red, we're checking out Carbon. That's Shockwave, Captain Anarchy, Ghostyami, and Naded. And in blue, it's Ambush with Cloud, Hines, Nexus, and I Got Your Pistola. Well, now that we have our lineups, let's take a closer look at one of our teams, the Pro Circuit veterans, Carbon. Carbon has long been a staple of Major League Gaming and is best known for always having fun while playing. They bring as much energy as skill to the game and tend to let their opponents know it. Oh, that's embarrassing, Tom! Throughout the 2006 season, they fought as underdogs and preferred it that way. Known to rally from the loser's bracket and cause some big upsets, they always put on a great show. I can guarantee we're having the most fun out there. By the end of the 2006 season, they pulled off one of the most remarkable feats, winning the national championships, taking home $100,000, and dethroning the Kings of Halo final boss. I'm so happy right now, it, I just can't describe it. it. It's like the greatest feel I've ever had. I mean, to dethrone like the Kings of Halo 2 just feels great, and I... I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Carbon stayed a top competitor through the 2007 season, and though Final Boss got the revenge at the 2007 National Championships, Carbon placed second and set their eyes on the 2008 season. 2008 has brought a new version of Halo and a new version of the Carbon roster. Captain Anarchy and Nated have taken the place of Gandhi and Karma, and it's up to this new roster led by well-known strategist Shockwave and rock-solid Ghost Yami to bring glory back to these once champions as they look to reclaim their spot as a top Halo 3 team. Today our guys are going to be facing off Team Slayer on Construct. Of course, Rockets up top, Sniper down low. It all begins right after the break. The, the ridiculously long-lasting gun. New Stride Always Mandarin. We're starting off here with Nexus from Ambush. He's going to be making his way up the orange side, spot a player, bottom close, and now he's going to try and move towards that closed street into the closed purple area. Leads the way with the grenade. Shockwave comes right up into his reticle and is taken down for the first kill of the game. Now taking a few shots from behind, he is going to retreat back towards the lobby. But it looks like Ambush is going to win the opening four kills, and they're going to be able to lock down the top now. Of course, Bucket, as we know, map control on this map is key. You want to be up top, able to shoot down. Gives you a better opportunity to cycle those rockets, and more vantage points to see where you're being attacked from, and, and really start and finish your team battles. And it's all about team shooting, obviously. Well, of course, on Construct, there's really only four ways up, and right now Ambush is watching three of them. Nexus watching the closed purple over on the opposite side. He's got a teammate watching open and a player in the lobby, making sure no one comes up those sword ramps. So Ambush locking down the top here from all directions but orange, and that is exactly where Captain Anarchy is trying to come from. He's charging over on closed street. Nexus is hit by a grenade. He's going to be forced to back down now in the lobby until his shields come back. And his shields are back, moves back into the closed purple, picks up the kill on Ghost Yami, put a lot of damage there on Nated, and I Got Your Pistola saved his life there, shooting from the sword room. So great communication and awareness out of ambush. Nice teamwork. Nexus picks up a kill, but he is going to be taken down by Shockwave. We're jumping on board with his teammate, I Got Your Pistola, as he is charging after Captain Anarchy. Now you saw him looking up the lift there to see if Captain Anarchy would go up. Knew he didn't go up, so charged Captain Anarchy down low picked up the kill halfway up the lift and now he's charging back orange after helping Cloud pick up a kill on Sword Ramp. Love watching Pistol this game. He's one of the most exciting players on there when he's on fire. He's always in motion and he runs really sneaky routes which is something that works to his advantage. What I really like about Pistol's play is he is the one who is always in action Sundance. You see a lot of the other guys on ambush, especially Nexus and Cloud, they will be kind of position holders. They will lock down the map, and that allows Pistol to move into those positions to help them clean off the kills that they start. So Pistol now on a six kill killing spree, getting some help there on open side. It's 21 to 11 as they're trying to double up on Carbon score. Pistol looking down open, didn't see anyone there, and now he's going to check sword side. Great heads up, great awareness there. Knew no one was coming up open side, checks for the player in sword. Hit Nated with a grenade, forcing him to back up, and now it looks like Ambush is going to do a nice job here of locking down the sword room. 
Pistola is dodging all kinds of grenades, gets grenaded from behind and charges right back to open side to help out for the kill on Nated. Great teamwork and communication out of ambush. You gotta love the way they swarm their enemy. It's really impressive to see this team. Remember, these guys are young, but they play like they've been together forever. A lot of energy, a lot of trust, which I think is crucial. They communicate, they cover each other's backs, and they're willing to let anybody step up and be the star in any given game. And you gotta be impressed by the way they don't die. They'll put a few shots in, and then back up, allowing their teammate to clean up the kill because they know they're actually in position to do it. And Pistol, he is going on an incredible run right here. Ten kills straight for the Killing Frenzy. Going for his 11th kill on Ghost Army, but no, Captain Anarchy is finally going to end it. But Pistol, he just had an awesome run there, Sonny. Yep, and they're up 13, now 14, 34 to 20. That run, a huge part of it. You see him never really s slowing down, only stopping to let his shields recharge, and only doing that some of the time. Reminds me a lot of the way Strong Side used to play the game. His team definitely feeds off that energy, and Carbon right now has no answer for Pistola. Now if you're Carbon, you have to get at least two kills for every one kill from Ambush. I don't know if they can do it, especially when Nexus is just running around the map, stealing the power weapons. You see him picking up the rockets, gets the reload here in the lobby, waits for his shields to come back, and now he's going to charge right back out, dodging a grenade there from the open street, and check this out, with three players back orange, he just jumps straight at him and launches a rocket at Ghost Yami, picking up the easy kill. Here comes Ghost off the respawn right into a second rocket. Nexus just embarrassing Carbon there. Well, you know what? He knows how much they're up by. He knows the score. He can trade kills. Carbon can't, and that's what they're still doing. They need to put something together here. It's almost out of reach. In fact, I don't give them much of a shot unless they come up with a miracle. Well, it's 26 to 44, so just six kills away for Ambush. Here comes Captain Anarchy. He's going to pick up a kill top of the closed purple, and now he's picking up a double kill in lobby for 28. But Sunnets, with just four kills away, what do you do here for Carbon? You can't give up any death. I think you got to try and hide. I don't know what you do. There's just not much game left. They've put themselves in such a corner here, the point where literally all Ambush needs to do is get a couple of coordinated attacks, send two guys at a time, because like we said earlier, they're in a position where they can trade kills. Carbon, however, cannot. Well, Carbon's going to have to get... 18 kills before Ambush gets three, 47 to 33. Captain Anarchy trying to lock down that closed purple as we saw Nexus doing earlier. Meanwhile, it looks like Naded and Shockwave are going to be watching open side while Ghost Yami is going to be helping out on closed street. Here comes a player up the closed purple. Captain Anarchy gets some help by Ghost Yami getting the kill there on Cloud. 47 to 34. They're getting great positioning here, but Anarchy shooting Ghost Yami in the back there. That is going to keep Ghost Yami's shields down and prevent him from charging out. But Anarchy redeems himself by out BRing Nexus there on closed street. 48 to 37. Carbon picking up a few kills here. Can they break 40? We'll have to wait and see, Sundance. I don't think it's going to happen, though, because we are seeing a push from Ambush. They're coming up the closed street, and they're coming strong. Anarchy getting hit by a grenade, forced to back down. Shockwave, you see, moving from the open side. He was all alone there, moving back behind the protection. Here is a big kill for Anarchy, but no Hind shuts him down, and that is going to be the game. 50 to 38, ambush over Carbon. Big performance out of ambush right there. In the end, Carbon just let themselves get too far behind, unable to come back, especially against a team like ambush that's so aggressive, does a great job of team shooting. Pistola with a great game, going 16 and 7. Not a lot on the other side to talk about, with only Nated going positive at 10 and 7. We'll be back with the Dr. Pepper. More to a moment right after the break. You know, scientific tests have proven that when you drink Dr. Pepper slowly, the 23 flavors taste even better. Hey, I get it, because half my life's been in slow motion. Watch this. Slower is better. Me? Trust me, I'm a doctor. That was fitting, Dr. J, right here. And now for your Dr. Pepper More To It moment. This one's got to go to I Got Your Pistol. Going on a 10 kill run, picking up the Killing Frenzy medal and laying the hurt down on Carbon. Well, that does it for this week's edition of the Stride Championship Series. But we'll be back next week with more exciting Halo 3 action right here at MLGPro.com.